Got that double, double damage proc. Nice. Oh, sh you son of a! Don't attack me while I'm reloading my oh god damn it! Didn't even know he was there. <laughs> oh man, really? What's attacking me? I gotta stay on the bear. That would have just been absolutely humiliating if we would have died twice in the same episode. But we didn't. <laughs> I did not want to stop shooting that bear regardless of what else was attacking me because... Bear. There's no such thing as a free lunch, right? In this case, it gets taken out of our ass. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the Rebirth mod. I am the Bearded OG, and stuff has happened. <laughs> uh, so I decided to go ahead and start the, the episode here. Um, so let's see. I've been out and about. Uh, I've been mining, so I have um, a nice pile of nitrate uh, here. I got a nice pile of coal. Got a decent pile of lead somewhere, probably in the bike. And then um, after I finished mining, I went out and, uh, yeah, we got 500 lead there. I went out and did some salvaging primarily to um, earn some money so I could go to the trader and buy some water because I'm really thirsty. And I got all these parts here, including um, a carburetor, which we need in the police car, and another car wheel, actually two more car wheels, and a transmission. So I think we have everything we need here to put that police car together. Um, and let's see, as a part of doing all that, actually before it got dark, I found the ratchet schematic in a mailbox. And then, um, as I was salvaging over here at the gentleman's truck stop, I found the chili dog recipe. And I broke into an ATM machine and got over $300 make you holla. Then I started wrenching this ambulance here, which is no longer here, and activated another roadside purge. Killed the zombs. And then, this happened. All right, so I quickly, uh, I, I went up into these hills a little bit on the mini bike to see if I could locate the drop and I couldn't find it. Um, and I'm seriously thinking about turning airdrop markers back on. I, I just put an X there so I can go back and, and look uh, again. But 
you know, normally when I play Seven Days to Die, at least in vanilla, I don't have airdrop drop markers on. Um, so that way I have to find it just, you know, to add some extra challenge and because I'm old school, because that's the way it used to be in that game. Um, but in this case, uh, I think we probably really need that airdrop marker. So I might, I might turn him back on. But I also noticed, too, before I started, oh, and I found another Walkman as well, that uh, we have a note. And maybe this, this note actually will mark it for us. I don't know. So let's see. This is the first time I've gotten an airdrop uh, so far in Rebirth. Let's see what it says. Congratulations on successfully receiving your first set of supplies. Your progress is commendable, but we have an important update regarding your objectives. Moving forward, each future supply drop will require you to eliminate five additional Zeeks. This adjustment reflects the growing challenges you'll face as you continue your mission. Be aware, as time goes on, stronger undead will emerge, making your task even more difficult. Staying alert and adapting your strategies will be essential for survival. Remember, cleared areas not only bring in fresh supplies, but also strengthens your skills and resources. Your journey is just beginning, and every step you take is crucial in this fight. Stay vigilant, keep moving, and best of luck out there. Okay, so, um, did that mark it? It did not. Son of a bitch. Okay, so we're... <laughs> We're going to have to go find that, but I'm, I'm turning the damn airdrop markers on after this, man. That's just, yeah, that's just no bueno. Um, it, it's, you know, it, it, we're playing this game differently than vanilla. Uh, if that hasn't become obvious to me by now, then I should probably just stop altogether. But no, I'm, I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, but seriously, though, um, I, I think we need to just turn those on because they're, they're ultra rare and we, we really need them. So we're going to have to try and find that drop. It's in that area somewhere. Problem at the moment is I'm super encumbered because I got all this shit in my inventory. Um, so let's do this. Let's go over to Rectipu. And um, one of you guys were telling me if I honk the horn that it, he's supposed to open the gate. But then I also heard that that only happens if you have, like, reputation with Rekt or something like that. I didn't even know you could get reputation with Rekt. Who wants reputation with Rekt? I guess people that want the door to open automatically, I suppose, right? All right, well, anyway, let's talk to Briston here. And we will exchange um, for some 762, only two. Okay, well, that's two more than we didn't have before. And then let's go over to Rekt. And um, let me take a quick assessment of what we have. I mean, look at all of the frickin' light bulbs we have. So we're going to sell some of these. We just don't need that many, you know. And this, oh, by the way, we found this college jacket, but it's not an actual jacket. It's a recipe for the running speed tier one mod, uh, which is very interesting. Increased running speed by 2%. So, yeah. And, you know, I have to say that overall, I am, I'm really enjoying, you know, this mod so far and just the, the, the way that it does things differently and... And trying to figure all that out, you know, it's 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 been a lot of fun so far. And just, you know, hats off to uh, Furious Ramsey for putting this thing together. This is amazing, really, really amazing. Okay, so anyway, let's um, uh, let me figure out what I'm gonna sell, and then uh, we'll go sell it and make a little bit of money. Okay, so let's go yeah, ahead and talk to Rex. Look quick, buy quicker, piss off fast. Um, I've got several vehicle starters. Um, so I'm going to sell two of them. We don't really make a bunch of money off of them anyways. Um, we'll sell three headlights. Does he buy... Okay, so yeah, they only buy a maximum of three, just like in vanilla. Um, I have extra fuel pumps, so we'll sell that. We'll sell all these mechanicals, all these pipes, and that oil. Okay, so that gets us up to 837 cash. Um, just looking real quick. If there's anything here he has that we might want to buy from him. I don't think he really does so okay you cheap ass son now, of a bitch now one thing that's all you're gonna buy yeah that's all i'm gonna buy uh one thing that i want to see if we can find is a propane tank and that's because if we do come across brass radiators uh which by the way after all that salvaging i did not but i have found them before um we need to we i, I think we're gonna need to use the shredder to turn them into brass because i don't yeah, I don't think that the, uh, yeah, I don't think that the forge is going to take, take them whole. Um, 
how do we how do we get a propane tank? Don't know. Um, I'm I'm just trying to remember if I've ever seen a small propane tank. I we've seen like the big ones over by the gas stations and stuff. I don't know if we've ever seen a small one. I'm just seeing if there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing in there. This thing here, okay, this is used to make class aura mods and global aura mods as well as forged steel. It requires a crucible to smelt in the forge. Molten steel. Uh So is that that's just a batch of 100 molten steel, I guess? Hmm, that's different. Oh, here's the crucible schematic. Oh, we have to be level 20. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be getting our steel from wrenching lamps for the foreseeable future. I want to check something else, too. That's fire extinguishers, hot wire kits, repair kits. Right. Okay. So I guess we need to keep our eyes open for... A small propane tank. And once we find one, you know, then we can just bring it back here and just keep it at Rex for, for now until we can find our own, um, you know, shredder. But what I would like to do is let's go home, drop some of this stuff off, get the gunpowder making and the lead smelting. And then we're going to come back here and see if we can find that drop because I have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to have some really good shit in it and note to self next time I restart the game I'm going to go into the settings and turn airdrop markers on hey look at that we got honey nice also I was going to tell you guys I have a uh, I have a new plan for our backdoor escape uh, rather than go into all the trouble to do the little stair step thing that I had talked about a few episodes ago when we were first doing this um, it's actually not not that difficult. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna have to come back down and get another load. We're basically just you know I don't know maybe halfway down the tower or so. I'd say maybe right about here. What we'll do is we'll just build a little platform. We'll cut a hole in the back wall and then we can just jump out the back wall. However, I'm gonna have to cut through t at least four steel blocks to do that with and with a level one wimpy level one iron pick <laughs> uh, we might wait a little bit on that one we'll see so okay we are still thirsty and what do i have for food i don't really actually have any food any readily available food so that's a thing we're gonna have to do some hunting but let me get all this shit sorted out uh, we're also going to go down and uh, do the, uh, put the carburetor and the transmission, which I must have left in the bike, and the last wheel in the cop car. Let's put those right there. And then then, we, then we'll have it. Uh, but we'll have to buy another hot wire kit too. However, um, I don't think I'm going to, here, let's do this. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the cop car a whole lot only because of gas consumption. You know, I mean, I've been wrenching cars and all that, but gas is still hard to come by in any kind of quantity is the thing. Right? So um, let's put these two engines in there. Or I guess the extra carb can go in there. Carburetor. Yeah, see, I still have tons of headlights. In fact, let's take... Let's take three more headlights and we'll sell it, sell them to wrecked down south. Um, okay. We're going to come up here and we're going to make that much gunpowder. And I'm going to put those in there and... The lead, I'll grab the lead out of the bike and then, you know, use it to make bullets. I'm assuming that all still works the same as it would in 
Yeah, uh, I'll have I have clay already too, uh, and I have a hundred forged iron ingots just sitting in there for whatever. In fact, I should probably put put those in the broadcast storage. Uh, so I'm going to make a, you know a bunch of bullet tips too, but brass is the thing, right? And um, so let me get all that situated, and I will meet you down at the police car. With a uh, well, first I'm going to go to to the southern rect and and sell these headlights and buy my. It's a bear. Shit. Um, and buy myself a hot wire kit. See ya, sucker. <laughs> and then I'll meet you guys at the police car, and we'll we'll get ourselves a police car. Okay, so I'm just across the the street here from the south wrecked can we wrench this and get a propane tank i can't i can't pick it up nope hmm so yeah well we're gonna have to figure that one out smells like dysentery selling to even a dumbass like you okay let's buy the hot wire kit that still leaves us 222 coin. If we could come across some dog food. Okay. I think that's... I think I have all the other stuff to make the... Let's buy two of those. Uh, you know, make that tamale stuff that I can all, never remember the name of. And... Yeah. Okay. We don't quite have enough money for another thing of purified water. We have got to find a distiller. That is like really high on the priority list. Okay, so you... Uh, hey, these are all missions. We can't get that till we're level 20. Um, one thing I'm, I'm wondering about is how we're going to get... If we look at our skills, right, I've got Dexterity level 1, but I need to find a, a book for, you know, a perk book. And it says it can be purchased or found in event loot crates, but I don't know. I'm not even exactly sure what an event is, A and B, if, and you know, when it's even going to happen. I mean, I can guess what it is, but I don't know specifically. Uh, or where do we purchase, who do we purchase them from, right? There's this... Um, Black Tower guy or whatever the hell it's called back here, but I don't think he talks to me. Yeah, he says, come back when you're level 15. So maybe he's the dude that sells that stuff. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. We always do. A lot of the things I've figured out is because of you guys and your awesome comments. Appreciate them. All right, what are we doing? Uh, we're going to the cop car. That's what we're doing next. And hopefully it's got enough fuel in it for us to get home with it. Um, well, actually, I guess I have I have I do have some gas in the mini bike, But here again, I don't know that I'm going to use the cop car a whole lot because of gas. We'll just see how it does. And speaking of which, can we make the fuel saver mod in this? It doesn't look like there we have it. There's no fuel saver mod. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We'll have to leave the mini bike here, and I'll have to come back for it on the on the bicycle because um, I have it set to where I can't pick up vehicles, to, you know, for realism. Oh shit, I forgot about all that stuff. Uh. Okay, well here, let's grab like say half of the gasoline. And we need the transmission, the wheel, and I believe the carburetor. Okay, there's the wheel. There's the carburetor, and there's the transmission. All right, let's hotwire this sucker. Oh, man, that is some storage space, baby. Whoo-wee, look at that. It's got 10% gas. <laughs> that's, the, that's the horn. Oh, I love it. 
Too bad the lights didn't work. <laughs> um, this thing is fast too, man. It's 22 meters per second. Uh, our mini bike's like 18. Okay, well, here, let's do this then. Um, let's just grab all of this. And that didn't encumber us. And I will uh, I will come back for the mini bike. Um, and we'll leave, you know, we'll leave that much gas gasoline in it. And then let's go here. And, yeah, we can only bring that up to 22%. Oh, my God, that's going to take a lot of salvaging just to fill the tank on this. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be cheap for us to drive, but man, the storage space is just fantastic. Let's see how fast it goes. Oh yeah, that's scooting. Get out of the way, I'm coming through. <laughs> Woo! Oh, stop, I don't want to damage it. We can't, uh, we actually can't get through on that street because of the, the hole there. We got to go hunt, man, I'm starving. I don't have any more veggies left either. Okay, can we come up, go around this way? All right, yeah, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, this thing is super fast. I wonder if it's the fastest vehicle in the game. It really scoots. Okay. Um, kind of, oh, I guess I can't go this way either. I wish these damn streets would just be on a normal grid. See, it's not a big deal on the mini bike or the bicycle because I can just... Gonna go wherever the hell I want to. Alright, careful, careful, careful. Let's go over here. I think I can, yeah, I should be able to get around over here. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> I love it. I am the law. Okay. Let's just park uh, the car right here. And yeah, see, we used 3% gas just to get over here. Yeah, so this may not really be feasible for us to use. At least not on a regular basis until we can actually make gasoline, which might be a while. Oh, I still hear that bear. Okay. I'm going to drop this stuff off. I'm going to plop the bicycle. Oh, there he is. Shit. Uh, plop the bicycle down and go back to... Um, hey, you know what? I need some meat. You can't get through here, can you? I, God, I hope not, or I'm in trouble. Uh, headshots, please. There's our lunch. <laughs> a solution presented itself in the form of a big-ass, hairy, toothy grizzly bear. Okay. All right, so we need miso and cat chow, goldenrod, and... Oh, I need to turn the broadcast on on that. That one's on. We're not using the microwave yet. I guess I need to turn all of these on. Okay. So that should be enough for us to make... We could make ratatouille with rotting flesh and... Hmm. I wonder which one of these is is better. Oh, it's gonna use a vitamin. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's let's make one of the tamale hashes, and then we'll make seven grilled meat, and that should. Can I make another one of these. 
Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Even better. Let's get this lead or these bullet tips going. All right, so that'll give us 250. That's not too bad. And we have 10,000, or sorry, not 10,000, 1,010 gunpowder. So we can only make four more 762s at the moment, but that's four more than what we had before. Yeah, brass is going to be a thing for sure. That's a murky water. That's all boiled water, but... Um, well, we're almost at the halfway point again on the water. We get a little hydration from these, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Let's eat a couple of these. And then we'll just chow down on some grilled meat. Uh, yeah, let's eat one more and then we'll see where that that leaves us because we still have four, you know, four more coming there. And that should get us back into reasonably decent shape, you know, for, for food anyways. Water's still a little bit low. Uh, but what I could do is I could sell a couple more things um, to buy some more distilled water. All right, I think, we, I think we're done here for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to where that airdrop was and we got to find that damn thing. We just have to find it. Let's put this in here and we'll keep that with us along with the vitamin. Oh, I made some iron arrows too, as you can see. And there's, uh, actually, no, I don't want to keep bullets in there. I want to keep them in here. So we got a decent amount of bullets, but we just don't have any brass casings is all. All right, let's go. Uh, whoops, let's go get our bike or our, our mini bike, and then um, then we'll go see if we can find that drop. Okay, looks like our mini bike needs some fuel too. But, um, you know, keeping this thing in gasoline is, is definitely sustainable at this point for us with just, you know, salvaging. But is there any other options for gas? Yeah, just that requires a chem bench and uses oil shale. So, yeah, there really isn't. We're just going to have to, the only way we can get it, I think, is to salvage it or buy it. But I don't really, I can't really afford to be buying it outright. Um, all right, so I need, uh, I'm just going to do a, a tiny bit of salvaging, just enough to get maybe a couple more waters, and then we'll go look for that, uh, that drop. Um, I've cleared out a lot of the vehicles through here, but there's, yeah, there's some over here we can do. Oh, wow, I can salvage the vehicles inside the compound. <laughs> I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Just not used to it is all. Hmm, that makes me wonder, can I pick up the shredder that's here and take it home? Uh, not that it's going to do me any good until I find a propane tank, though. Oh, how interesting. You can modify truck part or vehicle parts. That'll be interesting to see what that's about. Uh, I want to just double check something, though. If I put this... Well, I've got these guys in here. Yeah, see, it says a propane tank's required. Okay. Well, I'm sure one will, will pop up at some point. State your business, fool. Take a look at the shit I got, but don't expect me to cook it for you. Okay, I'm going to sell... Pretty much just sell everything we just... Well, I might keep those. How much are those worth? Not a whole lot. Truck wheel, I'm going to keep that. But this transmission, I'm going to keep. Uh, he doesn't want any more of those. We'll sell him the springs. 
and the electricals. And I think that gave us enough um, to get two things of out. water. Or even three. That's even better. Okay, let's take two of these right now. And we'll save that other one. All right. So, next order of business is to go find that airdrop. And that's going to be fun. But we got to do it. So, I'm trying to decide or, or think about, I guess, where would we even find a distiller? That would be, would we find that, like, say, in a grocery store, maybe? I haven't seen one yet um, in all the places we've been so far. Uh, you know what? Let's get some more meat. We got the firepower now, or more specifically, the ammunition. Got that double, double damage proc. Nice. Oh shit! You son of a! Don't attack me while I'm reloading my. Oh god damn it! Didn't even know he was there. <laughs> oh man! Really? Had no idea he was there. And of course, he attacks me right when I start reloading. <sighs> okay, now the question is, can we get back to our stuff and get away from him, or is he camping us? Guess there's one way to find out. Where's our backpack? It's over there. Well, that solved all of our food, water, and low health issue. <laughs> That's one way to do it, I suppose. But never something I would do deliberately. Did did he uh, disappear? I don't see him. Oh my god, that just came out of nowhere. Fucking direwolf, man. I, well, I, I guess that's a direwolf. I don't even know what the hell it is. He hit me from, you know, from over here. So he must have been, like, just on the other side of that hill. And, you know, of course, he didn't make any noise. So I didn't know he was there. Wow. Okay, that is the first official death of the series. I mean, I did die before, but that was my fault. So I don't really count that. That's just my own stupidity. So this is really the first time the game itself has killed me. And hopefully that doesn't happen too often. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? Uh, all right, so we got enough for four more. Um, no, sorry, three more grilled meat. Okay, that was embarrassing, but shit happens, right? Okay, let's grab this out of here, and we'll make some more grilled meat. I wish I wish I knew how good this was. It better be damned good if it's going to consume a vitamin. Excuse me. Um but nah, let's not. Let's let's save that vitamin. Maybe when we get, you know, a, a couple of vitamins we can try it, but right now I only have the one and I don't want to squander it. Let's eat the rest of these. Uh no, I guess we don't need to eat now. Okay. If that's the deal, that's the deal. Uh, we'll put that in there. We got an extra water when we do need it. And I think we're good to go out and start searching for our... Our drop. Um, let's take one of those with us, just in case. Now, the worst thing that could happen, well, maybe not the worst thing, but something very bad that could happen to us is when we're up on those rugged hills and then a horde spawns in. Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, but if it does, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, you know, all that shit's useful. Oh, by the way, this, this is a vanilla cop car. Uh, at least it's locked. Uh, 
Um, where's that bear at? There's really no reason. There he is. Uh, there's a, a wolf too. There's really no reason for us to go hungry now that we have enough ammunition. There's another wolf chasing a chicken. With all the animals that are in the game. And if lunch wants to bring itself to us, that's fine with me as well. Okay, this, that's enough for two and a half things of grilled meat. Um, should we pull that bear over here too? Just making sure nothing else is going to sneak up on me because goodness gracious. Is that... That chicken's still over there. Well, I've noticed the chickens and rabbits have a lot larger aggro range than they do in vanilla. Oh, shit. What's attacking me? God damn it. I gotta stay on the bear. That would have just been absolutely humiliating if we would have died twice in the same episode. But we didn't. <laughs> I did not want to stop shooting that bear regardless of what else was attacking me because... Yeah, bear, right? Okay. Well, I guess, you know, there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? In this case, it gets taken out of our ass. But look at that. We got 52 pieces of meat for our trouble. That doesn't suck. Let's get some wood, too. Somebody cut this firewood and stacked it up here. How nice of them. Okay, let's get to the business of finding an airdrop. So, I was standing right about here when it happened, and the plane kind of flew on that trajectory, but by the time I saw the plane, I did not see a drop, so it had, it had already, you know, pooped it out before then. And before we even do that, let's do this. Oh, shit. All right, motherfuckers, let's do this. You are sprinting. You must be feral. We're level six. No cop spit. Not allowed. that double double proc going Whew. oh hey look more meat are you seriously attacking me dear machine guns expertise finally we got it uh that's a moose actually and moose do attack you I don't make this shit up, you guys. It just happens. <laughs> I was, it looked like a fawn was attacking me. I'm going, what the actual fuck? What the hell? A rage capsule? First time I've seen that. That's so funny. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even want to think about what the bull moose is going to do to us if we try and kill it. It's probably tougher than the damn grizzly bear. All right, are we done fucking around? Let's go. We finally got our first machine gun level. That's awesome. What do you have, man? 
How about an upgraded M60? Okay. Uh, what are these? Those are enforcer gloves. They're light armor. We have medium armor gloves on. All right, what is this thing? This rage capsule will momentarily increase your stamina regeneration, increase your attack speed, increase your mobility and jump strength, increase your resistance to ailments, and increase your resistance to moose calves attacking you. Okay. Nice. Any side effects? I don't know. Okay, let's go find this damn drop. It's, it's over in this area somewhere. I know, that's pretty damn vague, isn't it? But... The plane... I, I guess the first thing we could do... What the hell is that? Ooh. It's a place we do not want to fall into. Um, I guess the plane could have been a little further over this way. So let's, let's just go up the highway first, and if we don't spot it, then we'll go off into the Thule's. I don't think it was this far over, though. But what we'll do is we'll just go up to, like, maybe the top of the hill here. Okay, there's no way in hell it was this far over. Not even close. The marker, and this was a utter guess on my part, but the marker I put right there, um, that's some pretty nasty terrain down there. I'm just, my biggest concern again is if we get a horde while we're in the really rough terrain, you know? That's not going to be a good situation. But we got to find this damn thing. Um... I wonder if I would be further ahead to go on foot and just throw my bicycle down. Alright, well, let's just go. Let's see how this thing does on the terrain, first of all. So we're looking for orange smoke. And it's also starting to get dark too, so that is not working in our favor. Hmm. Grab that. That's two bacon and eggs. Nice. These woods are pretty cool, you know, with the extra trees added in. Feels more realistic. Also makes it harder to find airdrops, too. Alright, let's look at the map here. So yeah, I think I'm too far south. We need to go back to the north. Still not spotting any orange smoke. Alright, let's go this way. Man, I really screwed the pooch when I decided not to use air mark uh, airdrop markers. But, you know, I'm turning that on moving forward. Just going to do it. Hmm. Okay, so here again, the plane... I think the plane flew, like, on this trajectory. So, we didn't see anything on the highway. I don't think it was past the highway. I mean, it could have been, I suppose. Let's go down here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it feels to me like I'm... I'm in the right area. But... No moss. And I'm starting to feel like I'm getting too far to the north now. But can be hard to judge sometimes. All right, we have a, a wolf. Yeah, man, I don't know, you guys. Uh, I did not spot that drop in the area that I think that it was in. We have level one and smells like bacon. We're up to 72 pieces of meat. That's wonderful. Uh, all right, let's let's take a look at some skill stuff here. So smells like bacon. That is a global achievement. Um, harvest five percent more from animals. Nice. Okay. And then I guess I guess these percentages are based upon how mean the animal is. So probably that grizzly bear. I'm guessing is that was the level 600, well, whatever that 600 represents animal. So that's good. Um, and then we also got our first uh, level in uh, machine guns. We have no progress, though, towards the next. We've, we've been using the machine guns since then. Does it have to specifically be on Zombos? I don't know. Maybe it, it must because we just killed that wolf and we didn't get anything for it. So I guess it's specifically for zombies. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, well, yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, I am not going to be in that rugged terrain at night. I don't even think I need to explain to you why I'm not going to do that. <laughs> with as dark as, as it gets in this mod and with the very high potential for a big horde to spawn in. Since I haven't seen one in a little while now. Uh, that's just not going to fly. Um, I mean, I suppose it is theoretically possible that the plane was a little further over on this side of the highway. So let's just kind of look off to the northwest as we travel back this direction. If it was, though, I... I want to say it wasn't very far off the road to that side. It could have also dropped right in here, but you'd think we would have spotted it if it was in here. Do the drops not give off orange smoke? I think they they probably do, right? I mean, why wouldn't they? Unless uh, Ramsey changed that. I suppose it's possible that it dropped it further to the southwest, and I just didn't notice it. It's worth looking. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to keep looking for this thing. And, but not, not at night, of course, but I'm going to keep looking for it, and... If and when I find it, you guys will be the first to know. This is probably a small purge encounter. I want to I want to test something here. So if we look at, let's go back to here. Okay, so we have zero progress towards novice. 
Uh, let's kill a couple Zeeks. Oh, maybe it isn't. Um, let's go find some Zeeks to kill and, and see if we get some progress. I'm I'm expecting that we will. We're up to 84 pieces of meat now. That's beautiful. Okay, this is a tier two. Good old goldsmith residence. Let's knock this sucker out. God, I hope we don't get a horde. Gasoline, an electronics repair kit, and a cheap wrench. And the usual stuff that we find in the construction crates. There's some switches. Bandage. Another anvil. Nice. Those seem to be fairly plentiful. Oh, nice! Weapon repair kit. We haven't even used our first one yet. That was a good find. Any chance that we could get a propane tank from a hot water heater? I doubt it, but let's see what happens. You know, I was just thinking, like, you know, natural gas, which I know is not the same thing as propane, but work with me here. Uh, we don't really need to pick up any more storage containers. I think we're good on those. Bubbles? We have two Zekis. What the hell? I mean, the first time I've seen this Zeke. Zombie Ava. Okay. Now, before we before we advance here, let's look at this. Why aren't we getting any progress? Uh I don't understand. How come we're not how come we're not getting any progress? Is there like a some kind of a cooldown period or something? All right, well let's keep going and we'll see what it says at the end of the the session here. That's a light armor. Um, and it looks like it's a, maybe just a smidge better than this, but it's also quite a bit more damaged. So, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with it. Let's take advantage of this toilet water and fill up our glasses. So that's what you do when you find a toilet in the apocalypse. You drink it. Well, after you boil it. Alright, so there's going to be Zeke's upstairs and there's going to be, I think, one or two down below. Let's put a couple of things on our toolbar, and I have room, of course, in the mini bike too. I don't want to let myself get too encumbered because if a horde shows up, we need to get the fuck out of here quick. It goes down into the lower area. All right, let's go down here. That's like a granny zombie. 
Interesting. Oh, you guys keep telling me to do this auto mod thing. Um, and then it, what it does is it auto loots Zombadoos. Okay, yeah, we need to, in fact, let me, that's actually not that hard to make either. Uh, let's track that and then hopefully I'll remember to do that. That's the floor that breaks, drops you down here. We, we still have 10 zombies left? Oh my God. Uh, ouch. Oh shit, and there they are too. Time to go. Six more. Still six more. I think the estimator thingy's off on this a bit. There's going to be... Well, there's usually... Some in the attic. Okay, uh, I guess they're gonna. Rest of them are gonna be in these two bedrooms here. Okay, there's one. You coming to the door? What are you gonna do? Yeah, it's an egger. Is it just a normal egger? Yeah, let's axe him. Oh shit. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. That's why I need that auto looter, because I always forget to loot these damn corpses. Well, not always, but sometimes. And look at the ammo we're missing out on. Nice. Okay, good. Why don't we take a small bandage? Because Edgar actually thumped us a little bit there. Says there's five Zeeks left now. There's really... Oh, that's right. I think we got to... I don't know where the hell they're coming from, but let's get out here where we can maneuver. Come on, boys and girls, let's party. I think they're up, up in the attic there. Oh, shit! Where'd you come from? All right, what the fuck is that purple shit? Three left. That guy had like some kind of purple ring around him. I don't know what that is. Oh, God. You have a purple ring, too. Oh, you're tough. Shit. Zombie scrub. Well, that used a lot of ammo. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Yeah, we're down to 16 rounds. 
I have to, I will tell say one thing, you know, doing the soldier class is expensive. Because you've got to use the M60 and the, you know, the ammo is just god awful expensive. So, something to keep in mind. Oh, all right, so we cleared this place. Let's take a look and see if uh, we got any... What the hell, man? How come I'm not getting any progress? I don't understand that. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to gonna have to figure out what the hell's going on with that. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think we're gonna wrap up this episode here. And um, I'm gonna go back to the base, put stuff away, and. We're, we're, we're going to have an ammo problem again because of brass casings. And that's not something we're going to be able to sustain on our own until we can figure out how to get a propane tank and a shredder. And even then, you know, the brass is, is not abundant at all. Let's actually go back in here for a second. And see if there's like any brass fittings. See, that's not going to give us brass there. Um, th uh, this might actually. Nope, that did not give us any brass. Shit. What about that? Okay, let's look in the uh, in here. No, that's not gonna give us brass. Hmm. That's not gonna give us brass either. Oh, I'm totally being stupid here. We forgot the loot. You guys are probably going. You think? Yeah, let's get the loot. Nice. Come on, seven six twos. That's not seven six twos. Farmer outfit. All right. Well, that'll come in handy. Well, no, it won't come in handy later because. Hey, that's cool. Um, I already have one of those, though. Didn't we loot one of those a, a few episodes ago? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, forgot about that. Okay. We we'll learn that and that. Um, let's pick this up and take it with us. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what we're going to do about brass, you guys. That's a bicycle wheel. And another small engine. Okay. Isn't there like a hidden room back here or something, if I remember right? Um, This probably just goes out onto the roof. Oh, shit. We got a horde. All right, um, we're going to need to... All right, that should prevent them from getting up here. Um, I'm going to put that there. Yeah, we're going to have to make a run for it, but not, not if we're, like, mega heavy, so... Let's go over here. And I'm just going to put stuff in here that's not super critical to us right at the moment. Okay. 
I knew those fuckers were going to show up at the absolute worst time. I don't know if this is the absolute worst time, but it's not a good time. Can I sell those? Yeah, I think I'll probably will. Uh, let's do that and that. Got to be able to move. I got plenty of screws and nails. And we'll do the pipe. Okay, where's our, our, our mini bikes out here? So we are going to actually break through here. All right, let's do this. Let's pull them all the way back over here. And here we go. I knew that was going to happen, but we got to get out of here. <laughs> we have bigger problems to worry about than a broken leg. <laughs> Yowzers. All right. Um, actually, well, I'm not going to get out and get into our tower yet until I see if they're pursuing me. Because if they are, I'm going to. We need to pull them away from our base. Um, where is that cast at? Right here. Oh yeah, here they come. So yeah, I'm just going to pull them down the street here. Uh, I don't have enough ammo to kill them. So yeah, guys. All right. I'm going to let you go here. And um, like I said, I'll just pull these guys way out of here and then outrun them until they despawn. So that's my only option at this point. But yeah, I got to figure out the brass situation because that's that is now the thing that's going to kill us. You know, we can do lead easily, we can do gunpowder easily, we can make bullets easily, but brass, man, holy shit, what are we going to do about that? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out, though. So, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. I'll keep the camera running in case something really insane happens, but... Hopefully it won't. At least I hope it won't. You guys, on the other hand.